All right, well, John, um, this is my first year, and I don't know, like 10, 11, 12 years that I'm not driving, and we're oh. turning it over to you. Okay. The responsibility of uh, driving Dave Ferguson, president of Exponential, to get him places, places he needs to go, things he needs to get done, more more people to meet that are planning churches and things like that. It's going to be good stuff. We're doing the old, you know, I do, you watch, we talk, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, whatever the other, there's like four or five other steps. You other steps. It's like yeah. AA. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to we're gonna do a little bit of role playing. Okay. Okay. And uh, we'll go from there. And our friend Eric is here to help us okay. and guide us. Hey, Eric. Um, hey, hey. And he may actually play a role for us also. Why don't you get the car? Okay. Bring it around like you're going to pick me up. Okay. And we'll get started. All right. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Talk us through this moment, Doug. Like, what, what's going to happen? Well, John's going to pull up, and we're. this is how the day starts. He's going to pick me up. He's going to grab Dave's bag. He's going to load it in the car. He's going to get the door for Dave. We're trying to set the tone early. Dave may not want all that, but we're going to set the bar high. All right? Okay. All right. Here he comes. Here he comes. Don't get out. Don't get out. What? A couple of mistakes. Oh. Other side of the car first. You can't see me in the rear view mirror while you're driving if I'm sitting behind you. I need to be on the other side and I'm not going to walk around the car. So let's right. bring it around. Let's do it again. Gotcha. Okay? Gotcha. All right. This is why we do the apprentice thing. Right. Yeah. It requires training. It would have been better if they would have like spent a little money and taken me down there this year. Right. To actually, you know. To really do I, the, do. I do, you watch. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> By the steering wheel. Steering wheel. Okay. Alright, this is a, on the other side. This is a learning moment though. This is good. No, no, no. You don't feel anything. Okay, this isn't about. Ah, oh, there it is. All right. There it is. You're gonna be in a rental car. You know, you're not gonna know where those things I gotta are. I know those kinds of things. Yeah. Okay, dude. You're supposed to be grabbing the bag, oh. not letting me here, do here, this. Here, here. Let me get this. Okay, you can't do it with a smirk on your face, John. Oh, you need to know the car. Know the car. So the car. when you pick up the car, you need to spend a little time with it. Yeah. It's like a first date. It is like a first date. Yeah. So you need to know where the trunk popper opener, opener is. Things like that. You're trying to set the bar high. Dave's going to say, oh, no, don't take the bag. Don't take the bag. Don't listen to him. Take the bag. Right. Don't listen to him. Take the bag. Right. Yeah. Deep in his heart, he wants you to take yeah. the bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he expects it, right? He doesn't expect it. He doesn't expect it. He's not like that, but he wants you to do it. He's busy. He's juggling like eight rolls. Yeah, he's probably got a talk in his hand. Let's talk about that, though. How hard is it? You know, oh, well, up or to the right. Oh, inflection point. Oh, 3%, 5%. I mean, we've heard it. Yeah. Okay. It is a very practical. He has talk, it down. Right. Yes. Okay. So, okay. next. Close the trunk. Close the trunk. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Over here. Oh, oh. Get the door. Oh, yeah. So, I go over here. I'm getting, I'm getting in on the passenger side. There you go. It. I'll see more familiarity than I need to. Oh, see, this is good. good this is good. why I should have gone. That's good. All right, thank you. He's, he's going to fight this too, but just do it. Okay. All right, that's good. All right. I believe you should photo document this, your whole experience. Okay. So, you know, there are some people, people like John Ferguson, that, that call the documentation of this arrogant servanthood. I believe it's just recording important moments for posterity. Um, so, first things first, you need to take the picture, the selfie picture, every morning and at the end of every day. Real quick, I prefer to go landscape. Here's why. Because generally you're going to have somebody in the front seat. Eric can play that role. You're going to have like a Pat Masick or a Sarah Williams in the okay. front seat. Okay. And you're going to have Sue in the back seat. So, you got to get all the people. So, yeah. So, here, I'll do Dave. Okay. Next thing you got to make sure, whoever's in the front seat, especially if it's Pat Masick, make sure you get a good photo. Okay. okay. A lot of times she's leaning in like this, okay. or you only get half her face, whatever it might be. 
Make sure you get a good photo. Say, you have a unique situation this year, though. Okay. Okay. You have Dave's old assistant, Pat Massick, That's in true. the car. What do you yeah. mean by old, Doug? Oh, good point. Uh, previous. There you go. Previous. Sorry about that, Pat. Um, but you also have Sarah Williams, his new assistant in the car. Mm. Now, the handoff's gone wonderfully. Yeah. But this is the first, like, big event where they'll be together where Pat had, like, run the show in the past. Mm, yeah. I'm going to assume Pat will still provide the directions on her phone. Okay. Okay? Let her do that. She's really good at it. Um, and you you don't need to be worrying about where to go. She will handle that for you. All right? Okay. She used to name the, the voice. I can't remember. It might have been Susan, if I remember. Oh, correctly. Okay. The GPS voice. The GPS yeah. voice. Susan. So that's... <laughs> Okay, see, you're kind of mocking it right now. You, you need to not do that out of the gate. Okay, you need to okay. read the no, car. No mocking. Read the car. Okay. See it. how it goes. Got it. Okay. Um, another thing you need to be aware of is you're the driver. If you have opinions on how like the talks went at Exponential, keep it to yourself. Okay. Till you read the car and see how it's going. I mean, if you're like, oh man, that 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 talk that guy gave wasn't even close to the big idea. Not that that ever happens with True. any of the speakers. Yeah, no. Or you're like, oh my gosh, haven't we heard this guy speak at Exponential like 18 times? Mm. You know, let that stuff go until you read the car. Dave, you know, as he gets to know you a little bit more, may say, hey, what did you think about that? Yeah. Give me your give me your feedback. Mm -hmm. Don't use those Don't use big words. $20 words that okay. you tend to use all, right. all the time. It's just $5 um, words. Just use the five dollar words. Five dollars. Okay. Use the wordle words. Don't use the. <laughs> don't use the New York Times crossword. Okay. Words, all right. Okay? I got you. Um, you're there to serve. You're not there to inject yourself into the conversation. No. Okay. Um, serve. Don't inject. That's good. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that but, was good. That felt like a talk on Sunday. But, Say it after me. You know, and you. And did those that. are both five letter words. Those are both five letter words. Very good. Now, one other really important part. You're going to have Sue Ferguson in the car, the first lady. Yes. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Sue's going to have all kinds of energy, always ready to go, lots of fun. You know how she is with temperature, right? She's going to talk about whether the car's too hot or the car's too cold. Okay. While we want her to be happy, her comfort is not our first priority. Gotcha. Now Dave, going with the happy wife, happy life adage, is not really going to say anything. Again, okay. you're okay. gonna. This is why you want him sitting here, so you can see his eyes in the mm. rearview mirror. Okay, he'll he'll let you know whether. Yeah, we can turn it up a little bit. The other thing, she will say, "Hey, I really don't want to go over to the church at 7 a.m. Mm. when Dave needs to be there. Can you come back and pick me up, John?" Mm. Okay. What's your answer to that? What do you say? Well, let me check the schedule. Nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have not even gone over that. Boom. And that is fantastic. Oh my gosh, I I feel like I'm turning this over to safe hands. It's, that was a fantastic answer, John. Oh, well, I'm proud of you. Well, good. I'm proud of you. Um, that's ex the exact right thing to do is to say, Sue. You know, I'd love to. Let me check the schedule. Then you got to figure out who to check it with, Sarah yeah. or Pat. Yeah. I think one last thing. You do leave talks early to go to the car because yeah. it's going to bake in the sun. Mm -hmm. You get that sucker cooled down. And you pull it around to the spot where they're going to pick you up, or you're going to pick them up. Right. So you're there and waiting. If you're in a crosswalk and people are streaming out of that place, just don't make eye contact. It's okay. You, you're there to pick up the president of mm -hmm. Exponential. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when they see him walking out, they'll know. They'll know. They'll know. Yeah. And then you'll be okay. So, I. Do you have any questions? I I, th I think that sounds great. So pull up, block crosswalks. <laughs> and the yeah, elderly, really what I said. if needed. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They'll get over it. Okay. All right, um, John. I, I'm really, um, I'm really heartened by that last answer. I feel like you're a quick study, yeah. so I think you'll do okay. Okay. And you, you know, you've got a nice smile about you, an easy way about you. So, just, I'll be praying for you. Do a good job, and. Uh, I'm proud to have turned this over to you. Oh, well. Thank you. You're a great teacher. Thank you. I appreciate that.